Portugal's win at Euro 2016 was one of the most strange and unexpected triumphs in the history of international football. But any team with Cristiano Ronaldo leading the line should have a fighting chance in knockout football. So how did Portugal spring a surprise? And just how much of a surprise was it really? Goal Tales rolls back the years to tell the modern classic football story. The seeds for the unlikely victory were planted 12 years earlier, in 2004, when Portugal hosted the European Championships for the first time. It was Cristiano Ronaldo's first major tournament. Age 19, he arrived at the tail end of an incredibly talented group of players that included Luis Figo and Rui Costa, and this tournament was to make a global star of Ronaldo, even if the most iconic image was one of him in tears after losing the final 1-0 to Greece. Nobody saw Greece's win coming, and Ronaldo was brought crashing down to earth. Four years later, their hopes of going one better in the Euros were dispatched by a ruthless Germany, with Bastian Schweinsteiger, Miroslav Klose and Michael Ballack scoring to knock them out. Euro 2012 was Spain paying for Portugal, who were sent packing on penalties by La Roja, who won the Euros back to back either side of a World Cup triumph. Some feared it would be the curse of Ronaldo on the international stage to be born too late for one golden era and retire too early for the next. Veterans like Ronaldo, Nani, Carvalho, Caresma, and Martinho bolstered the youthful injection of talent. And at the epicenter of everything was Cristiano Ronaldo. But things started poorly when tournament debutants Iceland held the Selecao to a one all draw. Ronaldo lashed out after the match by claiming Iceland had a small mentality for their defensive setup. Iceland defender Kari Arneson retaliated by calling CR7 a sore loser. Another draw followed, a nil-nil stalemate with Austria, in which Ronaldo even missed a penalty. The intense pressure on the Madrid star to perform boiled over before their final group game. Ronaldo grabbed the microphone off a reporter, who was irritating him, and threw it into the lake they were walking past. It could have been Portugal's last day at the Euros, and they almost blew it. Hungary took the lead three times, and each time Portugal clawed a goal back, with Ronaldo scoring twice. It had taken 250 minutes of Euro 2016 football, but he had finally arrived at the finals. Portugal squeezed into the last 16 as the third best third place team, and first up in the knockout rounds was Croatia. A nervy display stifled both sets of attack, but eventually it was Karezma who prodded home the winner in the 116th minute, deep in extra time. Next up was Poland in the quarterfinals, and both teams' defences held firm after early goals for a tense penalty shootout. Portugal were ruthless from the spot, with Ronaldo, Renato Sanchez, Martinho Nani and Karezma scoring each effort to set up a clash with surprise package Wales in the last four. And boy did he bring his A-game in the semi-finals against Wales. Led by Ronaldo's Real Madrid teammate Gareth Bale, it was pitted as the Battle of the Galacticos and CR7 came out on top. Ronaldo bagged an assist and scored a thumping header. It meant that Bale's hopes of riding the Welsh Dragon to Euro 2016 glory went up in flames. Ronaldo and Portugal faced a final showdown with host nation France. The finals were all set up to be theirs and Antoine Griezmann's, who had scored in every knockout game for Le Bleu until the final. Ronaldo had other ideas. But those ideas were thrown into disarray when an injury picked up early in the game forced him off in tears after just 25 minutes. Portugal's talisman could only watch from the sidelines. 12 years after Ronaldo left the Euros final in tears, he did it again. The game went into extra time. Ronaldo was alongside Portugal coach Fernando Santos on the sidelines, gesticulating wildly with tactics and motivation, willing on his teammates to do the unexpected. And boy did the winning goal come from an unexpected place. Ida, a late substitute, a striker with 13 Premier League appearances and zero goals to show for them, rifled low into the back of the net from 25 yards. Ronaldo's tears turned to tears of joy and his Portugal heroes lifted the Euros trophy aloft to win the country's first bit of silverware and mark their names in European football history.